Welcome everybody. Hi. What you're seeing in front of you is our project for today. And I kind of got a, I lost some footage there on our uh, beginning. I apologize for that. Let me catch you up though. Pretty easy. All I did was take a ruler and I, what I wanted to do was just practice. You know, do something that would help you to, you know, everyone is doing them. There's birds on a wire, and um, these are, are just watercolor ones, and, you know, it's okay to use what you see me doing, um, etc. Il other illust This one's a common classic illustrator teaching bird, pretty much, for water for watercolor. And um, I don't know why he's got such a big B. I don't know. I'm not happy with this guy's little shape here. I'm going to figure it out. And that's what's so nice about watercolor is you can just get in there, especially using a good pencil. But anyway, we did all that, and I made an outline for a frame and a pole, and I began a shape, and that's it. And I got... Four more to go here because this one's not done because I'm not happy not happy with it at all so okay I'm just going to think what I want to do this way and then round I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> I don't okay all right, that one's cute. That one's cute. Should I have them now looking at each other? And that one kind of have a... Or... That was a fail. Came in too dark on that bottom. Yeah, I just want it nice and soft. And there would be a wing, maybe, and a wing. And a little eye. And he's on the He's, let's say he's on a little bit more plump side. So maybe we don't see as much of his upper upper area. How about that? In fact, yeah, let's do that. We'll make, his, we'll make sure his wing is on there too. There, okay. A little different, right? That's going to help fill up the space because I may not have made them the, side, the right size here. We're going to do another one that's really big too. Right there. Oh, and I forgot the tail. There. Sorry about that. And then you got another tail here. little bit of feet showing just a little bit and two eyes so there we go and this guy I have a feeling this bird is looking out into the sky. Why not? If I can get this shape right. Um, yay, yay, yay. Yay, yay, yay. I'm going to get the eye way, way wrong if I'm going to do that. There. I 
it's closer there and he's looking up there so just for fun we'll put some wings on him here we can't really see his other wing completely let's say kind of behind this guy and he just doesn't care he's on his own journey he's looking at something else way up here in the clouds matter of fact we're going to put some clouds in their background and to do that we're going to use a little known fact i'm just kidding everyone knows who does watercolor it is artist watercolorist who puts it out Windsor and Newton and it's called marking masking fluid marking masking fluid and it's just liquid and um, for our, all my mixed media fans it's kind of like when I used um, frisket paper like AB creative does so but it's liquid and you paint it on I recommend using a brush that you don't uh, mind that the bristles are not going to stay nice okay um, this is a glue so that's why and I cannot find the one that I will not mind to get messed up let's see this one I think it is okay all right so what I want to do is just turn on some light for me because I'm having a hard time seeing guys I'm not sure how y'all were doing, but I'm suffering here. <laughs> there we go. And we also wanted to show this nonchalant bird who's maybe tails longer than everybody else's in his own beautiful little world. Maybe he has a special white design. That's what I'm going to do. He's going to have a nice white face. Yeah. That way when I wet the paper, nothing is going to run into or under this masking fluid. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how about something for the beak here? It's very detailed work here. This very little little piece of paper I found, <laughs> and uh, I thought, oh my goodness! And I've been wanting to practice and because I haven't done watercolor in quite a while. I've been doing crafts to mixed media, paint pouring, you know, all that stuff. But um, I would like to, you know, keep up the skills here a little bit. <laughs> so I'm practicing. I'm doing what I'm encouraging at you if you're coming in as a student i would say please practice yeah so and i'm envisioning maybe some white um highlights here because he's facing forward it's hard to tell if i've got enough on there And same thing with this little babe. See, sometimes it, it, when it rolls really thin, I'm not sure, so I go back in and I give it a little bit more. I'd rather be safe than sorry, thinking that there's a white highlight there where the light source is coming in on them, kind of face on. Um, this little guy who's just having his own fun I'm gonna give that to you as well I'm hoping that'll look good I'm also just keep up the precedence here I'm 
drawing on glue basically but it's a doesn't leave any kind of residue and it'll leave a nice white canvas <laughs> so that's really cool I, I like masking fluid that is my favorite for sure Frisket paper has its limitations, you know. It might be a kind of a big beak, but it's a beak. Hmm. I don't know what to do with that guy. He's kind of ugly. Well, not all birds have to be pretty, okay. <laughs> that one's got a funny shape to it. What do you think, guys? Let's make sure. I'm hoping you envision here. Let me look. Oh, dang it. There, better. Okay, let's try that. Okay, y'all can see it. Sure hoping so. I'm trying so hard with this camera. You do not know. I really am. I'm putting in the work, guys. You gotta help me out in comments. Yeah, looks good. No, looks like crap. You know? Give it to me. Any photo video, uh, uh, photo editors. If I make all that noise, sorry about that. Any photo editor program or apps that you know of that are really good. Because the one that's on my phone only lets, I can only speed up or slow down the whole video it won't let me just speed up little sections or anything i'd like one with a little more i see other people with more versatility they're speeding up slowing down mine only lets me put one set of words at one whole video i can't put different worm words in different frames now what's up with that all right, cough it up, guys. Any photo editor secrets, please reveal. Thank you. Okay, back to the painting. I'm cleaning my hands, actually. They, I did a paint pour earlier. And even though I wore gloves, you can't escape the, uh, the uh, <laughs> getting of the uh, paint pour. And it's sticky. I need to come in here and clean my little masking fluid jar. Isn't that the cutest little jar? Love that jar. Never probably will ever finish it in my lifetime. I have two of them. <laughs> They're adorable. I could put them or transfer them into a different jar just to have the jar. But then what would I put in the jar? Oh, quandary. You know what I'm thinking too? I want to put a little bit. Boy, that's getting really thick there. Every time I open it up, I get a surprise blob of glue. All right. Now that finger's gonna need clean for sure. Okay, globbing up on me. Yeah, you've been in hiding for so long. I haven't been watercoloring, so it's gotten globby right at the lid but nowhere else it's a good product gosh I've had this a good 18 years yes and just because I haven't done anything like really lately doesn't mean my whole life you know my whole life I've done watercolors only really not none of the mixed media no paint pours and stuff like that no I didn't know anything about it. Really didn't. I accidentally got somewhere I didn't want it. There we go. I just wanted to block his feet. I don't know why I did three over there either. Now that I think about it. Yeah, no, we don't want three. Just wanted one. I mean two. <sighs> Oh, goodness, Crystal. All right, what else? Is there any highlight on... <coughs> Excuse me. 
the tail, maybe. Maybe a little, some. Oh, that, that's not going to work. That did, phew. My goodness. That really popped out there, didn't it? It was high on some masking fluid. And see, I need some practice with using my products again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, I thought about was maybe in the middle. And I thought some down here. Ah, if I get a glob again there. This one barely looks like he has a tail. I just got to thinking we have to paint the background so I gotta mask these tails for sure. I do not need the background running into my tails. So, yeah. Making sure to get those jaggedy edges. Crystal, and that's something that really blobbed up quick. I guess I had had enough on there. Well, goodness, I'm going to have to redo this whole thing. That's all right. either too much or too little like I can't seem to like, get the right amount of on my brush it's not supposed to be a paint but applying it should be a little easier I would think okay just basically want to make sure those bottoms are not bled into. this little guy's head since he's the middle guy he's, just, he's the guy that's shining bright I'm going to keep that funny head there <laughs> yes got it. there's an odd bird in every every situation. Get it? Odd bird in every situation. <laughs> yeah. They're all odd. We're all odd birds. I'm an odd bird. Okay, putting that down. All right. Uh, 
cleaning my brush frantically because it dries really fast. I'm gonna use a baby wipe while that's drying on the paper real well. We'll get out our colors. This actually needs put in away. Made an air dry uh, butter uh, air. Blah, blah, blah. I made an air dry clay uh, dragonfly today. So tomorrow, you guys will get to see that. Ooh, it's so cute. Super, it's super cute. Super cute. So be looking forward to showing y'all painting it and all that good stuff. All right, so we don't need pen or pencil. Let's clean up my workspace here a little bit. Go on. All right, and pencil sharpener away. Pulling out the paints. I did something to my thumb. I pulled it. Don't know how I pulled it, but I did. I pulled it. All right, let's make sure well, actually, real quick, let me just hit it with the blow dryer. That way I am sure, and I won't put you through it. Decided that for the clouds, you know what? I needed some frisket, or not a frisket. Oh, there I go again, masking fluid. Almost forgot about the clouds in the background. I don't know what the other typical painting. I know there's a lot of these paintings because I've seen birds on a wire before. But um, mine are going to have clouds for sure. So before I dropped any water and stuff. She may do that. Okay, that's good. And I can't think of any other reason. Anything else needs box? No, that's good. Okay. Back to the drying process. Okay. One second. I sprung my thumb, my left thumb, so. I'm a little bit crippled. Put you on pause. Okay, I checked my video situation. I'm hoping it's better. We're going to go ahead and start up here at the sky. And this is a watercolor uh, gadget. You want to call it that a gadget. It's a good term. And, um, what it does is you just gently squeeze and it releases water. And apparently this one likes to jump out at me. I haven't used it in a while. I really like it. It's fun. Um, you'll see. Real easy. The brush is easy to clean at, in between. And um, does a good job wetting the board. I don't have to keep going to the bowl for clean water. Stay within that square there. Huh? I don't know whether my husband said something to me or not. And, you know, make him and I might be watering down too big of a section at a time here, but. above I'm not I'm making sure not to get water on or near the birds they're near the birds but not you know touching the pencil mark 
but I would maybe stop there. There, make sure it's now not still wet. All right. Now the colored. Oh, I need to get my little dangle bracelet out of the way. It loves to dangle in the paint. All right. What color do I really want to start out with? I think just some, some light phthalo blue. Remember to try to be loose. I don't even know if it's wet down here or not. But with these watercolor brushes, you just squeeze and out comes more water. See how nice that worked? Trying to be loose. For me, that's kind of fast, you know what I mean? Using quick motions, not trying to be perfect. Now you do it your way. This is just how an art instructor had taught to me about how to do things. Just passing on the info. It just happened to work for me, so that's good. But you do you, and you know, I'm just here to. I'm hoping to give you, get you inspired, and and uh, I would love to see some of your work. That's always big with me. I love it. a little bit too much paint there but you'll see I'll correct that this is dry brushing mixed I love this pen this pen's pretty awesome I'm digging it Yeah, I can just move that around. Oh, love this brush. Boy, talk about making watercolor easier. I'm not in and out of with a different brush and getting water and changing water and oh wow. Pretty cool. It's got a pretty good point to, to it.
light source is this way, by the way. That's why it's darker on that side. It's doing that kind of on purpose. Getting a little bit way, 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 way light. Almost disappearing there, huh? I don't want to disappear. Good. <coughs> Excuse me. That's so pretty, isn't it? I'm going to add a little bit of this lilac color. I mean, uh, purple, actually, is what I grabbed. And kind of went that direction. I'm not really sure why. Kind of wishing I hadn't, but I did. lines and see this is how I know about blending and I'm with acrylics it's totally different and uh, I've been watching uh, me channel MII paintings and she's really good if you want to learn how to shade be inspired and shade something she's the channel to go to really cool stuff really cool i'm not liking i had that little bleed through but we'll fix it i'll fix it Everything's pretty wet. Let's let, I'm just going to cover this up and uh, use the blow dryer. Be right back. Okay, here we are. I put my hand in front there just to make sure. Oh my, that was a large bunch of water that just popped out of there. I was not ready for that. I did put some fresh water in it though. Filled it back up again because it was running low. Okay, got lots of water all over there. And I was trying to think of what color to start with first and my desire came to me as being orange. Try to be remember to be loose. That was loose. Tried. I love the color.
like most of the tail is covered in the frisket, so that's the deal there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that just so I don't have to go through filling up the bottle again. All right, let's go for another color here. I'm going to go full, full color. Violet. We're going to have a purple bird. Oh, yeah, whoops. Well, forgot to put water, so I'm just going to put a really wet on dry approach on this one. Ooh, that was my stomach making a growl noise. I'm hungry. I guess. just like that. Then I want to have a another color. Let's go. I want to go this little light green color. We'll go, I like that wet wash. Whoops, there, I like that. I thought that was fun. birds done and I'm gonna do a little drying because I don't want any bleeding so back on pause okay back to dry again so we're gonna do some more make sure you're in camera view yes okay good I paint sideways I don't paint forward that or I do it up on an easel. I like the, the easel a lot. Okay, let me get up here. And let's see. The one I call the, my odd bird. Let's start with him. I know that I want yellow. Pretty, pretty yellow. I had to put my purple bird's tail in, didn't I? There we go. Good. Yeah, where the green? for our last color. Let me think. Uh, 
How about magenta? Magenta will be perfect. Ooh, I got a lot of paint in there, didn't I? Okay, be loose with it. Loose as a goose over here. And our red one is really going to stand out nice. I like him. Don't you begin out of your line. There we go. We'll fix you. Now you look stranger. All right. I can forget your flamboyancy. And your tail. Also has a long tail. This is little guy with the orange and pink. very good we've got everything painted we just have to paint the uh, part and I look at that and it's completely clean what a great great tool highly recommend this okay we're gonna let this dry and come back in and build up a little bit more all right so back to your paws forgot to turn back the camera sorry about that I'm putting in the details the beak and the and the uh, little eyes I left two of the birds with masking fluid to show you how to rub it off I rubbed it off of this bird this bird and this bird already okay we're just waiting on the short dark, you know drying process here get paper off. All you do is to make sure I move you. Yes. Is you just with your finger just rub it with the paw, not your nail. Otherwise you'll scratch your paper. So just do it with the with the uh oh good well I'm glad I landed on one that wasn't wet. Trying to be careful because I know I just painted the black eyes. There you go. There, see it's off. I'm gonna do the tail. And we can add more water. We just can't get back white. That's why we use the masking tape. Just cannot get back ever to white. There's no pigment in watercolor for white. So that's why you block it off. And then you can choose what you want to keep and what you don't. So that's kind of why. You can 
hair. Give him a tail like that. That's pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Is that what I said? It's pretty pretty. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to get the masking tape off this masking fluid mask off. have forgotten before and realized, well, I never even took the mask and made tape off. It's ridiculous. Okay. There you go. Now I'm keeping the feet on because we have not yet painted the uh, bar they're standing on. Or perch, I guess. A perch is, is a better way to put it. I see we've missed some paint down here. A little blue. There we go. I don't want that. Okay. Now I want to define the magenta tail. Try to be this again. Try not to be perfect. Just like that. Now we're going to do the orange. There. Okay. And find a little darker under there. Oh, well, we got the yellow to do. Did I get all that? Yeah. Get the wing up here, though. Okay. There we go. One more. Got it. Got it. Got it. Good. Okay, now let's come back and highlight our tail a little more. That's about all I want with that one. And then let's get our green. Oh, I'm in camera there, sorry.
right, there we go. I'm going to let that dry. Then I'm going to come in with a little black marker, an acrylic marker. Good one is by Artizo. Art, wait a minute, am I saying that right? Artistro. Artistro. Sorry, I knew I had a feeling I wasn't saying that right. And all I'm going to do with this is just come in with a little detailed doodads here and there. Try to bring out and we're going to have to line our bar. Color the bar now. I don't know what color I want to do it. Huh. We're going to go yellow. An okra yellow. That I remember seems to be a color that's popular in bird cages and stuff. Loose quickly done. Yay! Once that dries, that'll be pretty. I'll take out the uh, masking fluid from the uh, for the feet and uh, simply draw the lines with this Arteza pen, and we will call it a day. As I sign my name. Waiting on that to dry, and we are done, done, done. These Arteza pins, by the way, are just awesome. If you don't have some, you really ought to get them. They are wonderful. Paint, marker, pin, extra fine point. That's what I did these with. Hard to find an extra fine pointed pin in the acrylic world, so highly recommend it. So we're pretty much done with the paints. Just going to set those to the side. Put you on pause for the last time. And come back and draw the uh, claws and give you a look at the finished product. Okay, last thing we got to do is take off our, our masking fluid from our little toes of our birds. Just 
we spin along here. Here. And one more. Just making sure y'all are in view. Okay, good. Now, put that all over there. Just scoop it right under there for me to, I'm going to sweep it up. <laughs> Grab yourself your marker. Come in. Give your birds your legs. Toenails or whatever they are. There we go. The end. Hope you've enjoyed it. If I provided any kind of instruction at all, I'm thankful. <laughs> um, if you're liking me, so hit that subscribe button. It's free. What's free in this world anymore, right? Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, have a great day. Comment, subscribe, thumbs up, like, hate, dance around three times, all that good stuff. See you on the next one. Bye.